Benue State Governor Samuel Autumn has spoken on the recent resignation of some of his political appointees, reiterating that they were asked to resign so as to focus on their 2023 political ambitions and it won't affect governance in his administration. Governor Autumn clarified that those who resigned were surely good people. He said it was better for them to resign so there won't be an issue of distraction in dispensing governance to the good people of the state. Nigerian News recalls, ahead of the 2023 general elections, Chief of Staff to the Benue State Governor, Tewase Obunde, and four commissioners have resigned from their positions. The commissioners include Information, Culture, and Tourism, Mrs. Na Gunam Edingini, Environment and Water Resources, Engineer Dondo Ahire, Education Professor Dennis Itavia, and that of Youth and Sports Comrade Ojemba Ojotu. The former Chief of Staff Obunde, former Environment Commissioner and former Education Commissioner are plotting to succeed Autumn, while Adingi and her counterpart in Youth and Sports Ojotu are warming up for the House of Representatives in their various localities. Also, Teva Akase, media aide to Governor Samuel Otom of Benue State, at a press conference held in Makodi on Wednesday, said he resigned from his position to focus on his governorship ambition. Akase stated that he resigned in line with the directive given by the state governor that all appointees seeking political offices should resign no later than the end of September. In total, Nigerian News gathered that about 14 political appointees have resigned from the Benue governor's cabinet since he gave the directive. Reacting to the development during a chat with journalists on Friday, Governor Autumn said he needed to ensure his administration finishes strong, so those seeking elective positions needed to give way so new appointees can be brought on board. He said, they have done the right thing by resigning, and if his government finishes strong, it will also make their political ambitions easy. The appointees are good people. I gave them the directive that those who want to contest elections should resign, and that's why they have done that. They have done the right thing by resigning. I will replace those who have resigned so that we can finish strong. If we finish strong, it becomes easier for whoever is nominated in my party, PDP, for any elective position to win the election, Autumn said. Initially, when the news broke out that um, uh, Governor Autumn, Governor Samuel Autumn's aides resigned, you know, speculation started flying that there's possibility that um, they are resigning because they want to switch party. Because you know, that's what we've been seeing of late uh, politicians jumping ship, moving from the people's majorly from the people's democratic party pdp we've seen a lot of movement from pdp to apc autumn had to clear the air that uh, that's not the case that these people they're actually good people they are people who are loyal and um, just because of um, what they have in front of them their future ambitions he was the one that gave the directive that anyone who has any interest in running for any elective position that before the end of september before the end of September, that they need to resign so that um, it will not be a conflict of interest because it's going to be like conflict of interest um, working under his government and pursuing um, their political ambition. At the end of the day, they might be compromising or um, governance may suffer because what he is looking at is looking at um, that come the end of his um, uh, uh, tenure that uh, PDP and his administration uh, will finish strong. So he believes that that is the right thing to do. And to him, he feels that um, these uh, his aides that have resigned and even the commissioners, they've done the right thing by not arguing, by not um, even seeing it as um, um, something that is intended or that has another motive, that they did the right thing by resigning, that right now they'll be able to focus on their political career and among these persons that resigned some of them are actually looking forward to taking over from the governor so some of them are even um, vying for the governorship position while others are for uh, the national assembly position so um, he's just clearing the air that these people and he's speaking for them it's you know it's we've seen cases where uh, chief of staff 
governor's chief of staff, they've resigned. And after resigning, um, the, the sort of um, comments they leave out there, they leave Nigerians with um, a lot of suspicion and a lot of question. They live with a lot of question marks. And then um, sometimes it's because uh, they, they, they fall out with one another and it looks like they can no longer work together. That is why they are stepping down. Some of them is a case of um, moving away from that party, moving to another party. That is what leads to all of this but we can see that is not the case they are still loyal they are still committed to the people it's just that um, they want to push forward they are pushing forward for their uh, ambition and autumn also stated that um you see because these guys are looking forward um to other top positions if they step aside it will give room for him to actually um, appoint others to fill their place and those people they know that um, they are working hand in hand with him so you know if, if this um um uh, his aides and the commissioners were still there because of the ambition that they have. They will not give it their all. They don't have the hundred percent commitment will not be there any longer. They are thinking about meetings, the ones that are having consultations, that are having talks, that are looking, uh, that are uh, going looking like the one, especially the one that want to, uh, that are eyeing the the governorship seat. They will be meeting with a lot of persons, and uh, we know how that works. It starts early. Once they know that um, they have interest in that, it starts really early. They meet with a lot of stakeholders, those that will support them and them um, all of that. And that might affect their own role, their current role. So the governor did the right thing. We've seen that uh, Governor Autumn has he's been one governor who has been on President Mohamed Buhari's neck, has been criticizing constantly without fear, without fear without any sort of intimidation, anything whatsoever. As someone who has been criticizing President Mohamed Buhari's administration. And if he's someone who is criticizing President Mohamed Buhari's administration, you know there's a saying that charity begins at home. It means that in his own administration, he should be able to hold it together. He should be able to see uh, that um, things are functioning properly, that there are no lapses and there are no loopholes, there are no shortcomings. And he's identified that this might be a problem. Uh, these people who are... Uh, have political interest, political ambition. This might be a problem, might be a setback to him. It might drag him back and then with all of um, the targets he set. So he told them that um, they just need to step down. And the um, good thing is that they did not um, fight back. They didn't resist. They accepted. And Autumn really spoke well of them that these people, they are good people. You know, his chief of staff was part of them, chief press secretary and four other commissioners and other aids he really spoke well of them well guys leave us your take thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again more updates bye